They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. What happens if brought back from hell with those same intentions? Tonight, we watch The Lazarus Effect, with an all-star cast, including Olivia Wilde, Evan Peters, Donald Glover, Sarah Bolger, and Mark Duplass. We are treated to a science meets religion. Be wary of plain God esque story. So, a group of scientists slash doctors are working to create a way to give doctors extra time to do their job. They're creating a serum that can essentially bring hospital patients back from the dead in order to give the doctors more time to save them. They conduct a successful test on a dog named Rocky, who is played by a dog named Kato. I thought that was interesting. Once this test is successful, the corporation who gave them the grant and essentially owns the research, or the study rather, shuts the entire project down, comes in, takes all their hard drives, everything, and now they're out of three years worth of work. So, naturally, the group decides to sneak in with what little bit of the serum they still have and conduct another experiment, record it, so that they have proof and evidence that they did this. So during their experiment, Zoe, played by Olivia Wilde, she gets electrocuted and killed. Mark Duplass's character decides to utilize their study to bring Zoe back to life. When it works, and then all hell breaks loose. I don't want to spoil much of this movie. It is very much a science meets God esque idea, and it all—it's a very contained uh, bottle episode, you could say. It all happens in one night, and it all happens in the lab. It's definitely a, a spooky movie. It's done by Blumhouse. It starts out as a jump scare heavy movie, which was kind of annoying at, at the beginning. It at least utilizes a suspenseful and dark atmosphere and tone throughout the entire movie. The sound design is really good, works really well with the creepiness factor of the movie. As the terror in the movie builds, we are given intense scenes and imagery that ends up taking the movie beyond just a jump scare. All, all, all of the actors 
elevate the movie as well. They, each of them, do phenomenal jobs. With their performances, they give realistic reactions to situations that are not normal. I stumbled upon this while flipping through fucking Prime, and it looked interesting. I went in essentially completely blind. When you land on a movie on Prime, it'll start playing either the trailer or just a scene from it. And so all I knew going into this movie was Olivia Wilde's character had been dead and was alive again. And for the less than an hour that she was dead, she described that she was in hell for years. So I was like, hmm, all right. Let's see, let's see how they avoid being compared to Flatliners. And they did a pretty good job. It was much less about dying and coming back and much more about the concept of playing God. The Lazarus Effect presents the age-old Frankenstein's monster quagmire of what responsibility do we have to our experiments and answers the questions pretty intensely and with decent effects. They're mostly CGI effects, but they're they're not CGI heavy. There are a couple scenes where, you know, they have to use CGI, but there's one scene where Olivia Wilde is laying on the couch, and it's an above shot, looking down at her, and she just starts rising up off the couch towards the camera, and her hair is splayed out behind her as she's laying on the couch, and as she rises, her hair just slowly falls behind her, and it's a, it's a really interesting shot. You know, that's really the one that stands out to me, so... I'm going to give it 3.5 burritos out of 5. It was an interesting, unexpected, enjoyable movie. Uh, for its quick runtime, I think it's an hour and 24 minutes. It gets right to it. There's not a lot of pointless buildup. You understand the characters and you relate to the characters relatively quickly. And then they're just into the plot of the movie, the thick of it, if you will. The medical or scientific meets spiritual uh, juxtaposition is always an interesting concept in horror movies. Whether whether you're one side or the other, it's always it's always a good basis for a horror story. And the dark tone and relatively intense imagery make this a movie that I'm really surprised I had never heard of before, to be honest with you. I believe it came out in 2015. Definitely check it out. It's, it's a good, quick watch. It's got intense scenes. It's not really a slow burn, but it's also not just jump scares, um, as you tend to expect from Blumhouse. This will definitely be on my rewatch list. I'll probably, you know, I'll give it a year, rewatch it next year, just for the hell of it, because it was, it was surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting much, and it ended up being enjoyable. So, there are 3.5 out of 5 burritos. Definitely a rewatch. I really don't want to spoil much of it. When you choose to play God, you got to deal with the fucking consequences of that choice. And the Lazarus Effect presents a pretty decent case for that style of horror movie. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow. See what else we watch. We've only got three days left. 
and I got some interesting ones to throw out. <laughs> Three movies I really enjoy, so I'm gonna end on a on an upbeat, and I think I'm gonna throw an extra video in just talking about other movies that are decent that I didn't necessarily think needed a review, but we'll see. So, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow, see what else we watch. Later.